Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Associate Professor, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift 1 from Petition College of Arts and Science, Adaya, Chennai. In this video, I'm going to teach you one more problem on how to calculate mesh NAR rate. Click the I button to watch my previous videos on various concepts I covered under cost accounting. And this is the format already I taught you in the previous video. The whole uh, mission expenses will divide into standing charges and variable charges. And as variable, only depreciation, repairs, maintenance, and power will come. Apart from these three expenses, all other expenses will be put it under fixed charges. And all the expenses must be converted for one hour. Then only we can come to know what is the mission hour rate. Before going into this format, we must do the working notes as depreciation per hour. That is the formula to calculate the depreciation for, uh, per hour is cost of the machine plus installation charges minus scrap value divided by estimated life of the machine. So this is the format already I gave the explanation in my previous video. So click the I button to watch my previous video to have a clear understanding on this format, which I gave in detail. Let me check one more problem in this video. Calculate the machine rate from the following. Cost of the machine is given 19,200. Estimated scrap value 1,200. Uh, this two information we can make use to calculate the depreciation. Uh, and then uh, here with the estimate effective working life of the machine was given 10,000 hours. So this information cost scrap, I can make use to calculate the depreciation per hour. Look at the working notes. The cost of the machine is 19,200 and the scrap value is 1200 and the estimated life of the machine is 10,000 hours. If I simplify this calculation, then I'll get 1.8 is my depreciation per hour. Okay, then as usual, I will uh, calculate the machine rate by using this format. So have two columns, particulars and amount per hour. And uh, the standing charges again in this problem is given totally. The standing charges allocation is per month is given. The standing charges is for per month is given that is 50 rupees then definitely we must have the information about the running time per month is 166 hours so what is the running time of a machine for one month 166 hours so this standing charges 50 rupees for a month can be converted for one hour by dividing this 166 hours that's what i work it out here standing charges is 50 rupees for 166 hours means what is for one hour how to do the calculation 50 divided by 166.30 then i'll put the heading mission expenses here are the mission expenses depreciation will be the first item i'll, uh, I'll uh, post this amount 1.8 from my working notes then repairs and maintenance repairs and maintenance also is given for a month so 150 divided by 166 so 150 divided by 166 then i'll get 0 0.90 then what about power power used by this machine for uh, by the machine per hour they are using five units each unit cost is 19 pi so 5 into 0.19 so this is the power calculations so 0.95 will get so add all these amounts then we'll get the answer 3.95 is the answer as the machine rate thanks for watching my video see you again in next video please share my uh, links uh, covered cost accounting to your known circle subscribe my channel click the bell button i'll teach you some more problems under missionary rate until then bye bye